I learn automation by way hard way. But now I have an experience working with top leading organizations, big multinational names like GE. Let's assume if I forget everything and if I have to start over again. What path I will take and how I would learn automation, PLC, DCS, SCADA, instrumentation, industrial IoT, and OD cybersecurity. This video is sponsored by Vcon Technologies. Vcon provide product and solution for HMI, PLC, servo controllers, IIoT solutions, and inverters. I remember back those days when I started my career, it was very difficult for me to learn automation. Reason why? Because resources were not available and nobody was there to guide what are the right resources to learn. In this video, by using my experience, I would be sharing what if in the case I have to start my journey again, what path I will take, what are the steps, what is the roadmap which I would be using to learn automation. Number one problem most of a new fresh engineers when they start learning automation they face is a mental strength issues. When you would start learning automation, for instance you start learning PLCs, you would have a time when you would see everywhere a darkness around you. You would think like that might be this feel is very difficult for me. One thing to understand here, initially automation field is difficult for 99% of the people. But eventually, if you have a strong mental strength, with the passage of time, you would start excelling in this automation domain. So one point to understand and make clear that automation or any field, especially programming fields, are difficult for everybody when they give it a start. The best way to understand how much you are doing effectively is comparing your current day with your past day, not with everybody else around you. If in the case you are doing better than yesterday, you are on the best track. When you think of learning automation, there are many available resources for you. You can use online courses, you can watch training videos, you can read through the conventional book methods, and you can get in help of some mentorship programs as well. You can get in touch with some industry person and get a personalized training with that person as well. Internship and industry training programs are very important as well. So what would be the path I would choose looking into my experience? So. The step number one, I will look for someone in my surrounding. If I got in someone from same field, I will get in touch with that person and try to learn. Right now, the word is connected. You can get in live mentorship with some person around the globe and get in touch, learn live directly from that person. You can ask whatever fears you have discuss your problem, ask whether these things are normal, it's for everybody or you are just experiencing that. That person would definitely help you to gain a mental strength because that is key. Another very important thing is most of the people are not ready to work free of cost at the start. You should start getting a work no matter if in the case you have to pay from your pocket as well. Don't focus on the money at the start focus on the skills. If in the case you would be focused on the skills at the start, your journey would be very beautiful because skills are essential. Money is the secondary thing. It would definitely automatically come in your way if you follow the correct path of learning right skills. What pattern I would be choosing to learn automation? What things would come first? Now I'm gonna tell you a roadmap. Your first step should be to learn process. You can start learning process of any oil and gas industry, for instance. The best way to learn a process is get a tour of any process industry with the help of some process engineer and get an understanding how things are working. Get in help of some process engineer and learn the process of that industry. Once you know the process, then the next step should be to learn instrumentation. If I have to start over again, then I might work for some industry 
one year for instrumentation. While working as an instrument engineer, I would start learning on parallel PLCs. Practically, I'm doing instrumentation things. When I'm back home, I'm learning PLCs. To learn PLCs, you have a lot of resources. I explained earlier, now you have a lot of good YouTube channels which are providing good content related to PLC trainings. Like ours, we have a complete playlist. And apart from it, there are a lot of good channels better than us who are doing very good in that domain. You can get a benefit from them as well. If I have to choose the best way, I will go for the live mentorship. I will check in someone in my community who can help me, who have an experience or who is currently working in industrial automation domain. The benefit of this one, as I explained earlier, that everything is structured. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. I have seen many people, they are investing a lot in their degree courses, but these degree courses are not helping them to do their job in industry. So the best investment that you can make in your life is to invest in your knowledge, especially the practical skill. You can get a Udemy course. You can either get an online mentorship program for that. You can get in physical trainings somewhere in a training center, or you can get in Udemy courses, or you can learn from free available courses online. But I believe if in the case you invest in learning curve, that would be the best and most rewarding investment in your life. Once I know PLCs, for instance, the next step would be to learn HMI. I would start learning an HMI from any brand. Don't be confused in different brands. You can pick up Siemens, Allen Bradley, ABB, whatsoever. Start learning with it. Once you know HMI, for instance, then the next step would be to learn SCADA. Once you are learning SCADA at that time, you can explore Modbus, OPC, MQTT protocols, and some other industrial protocols, which are gonna be big help in your roadmap to industrial IoT. So the next thing would be to understand different communication protocols, become an expert in that. Once you are comfortable in SCADA, then you should start learning practical communication stuff. Then your focus should be on industrial IoT, you can start learning on cloud. And then after that, once you're done with the cloud, the next step should be to learn OT cybersecurity. Once you know that OT cybersecurity stuff, then you can become a pro. A person who is not replaceable, the person every company wants. During the whole learning curve, one thing to make sure, once you're learning, for instance, instrumentation, your focus should be on instrumentation. You should have a set schedule for everything and PLC on a part-time. You should not be jumping here and there in this learning curve. That's all for today. If in the case you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.